I've got my uh, vaporwave drink. Voice known as milkshake. Um, because I feel like this is probably a place that has one of those terminals as well. How far away is Sam? Oh, wow, cool. Sam's really close as well. Lovely. Um, there are two syndicate machines in there, I think. So let's check that out if I can get in this way. Uh, it's a strawberry. Pink, sorry, pink milk. Uh, I must never abandon child John's terminology for it. I, the blood crystals must come back, because... Surely. Yeah, pink milk and red sauce. Uh, and brown sauce. Although, I think everyone calls it brown sauce. Yeah, yeah. I, uh... I don't think brown... is. It, I think brown sauce is only a UK thing. Um... Uh, it's actually... So, uh, <laughs> Uh, so it's actually marketed as. All right, that's HP Brown Sauce. But like, this is the uh, Houses of Parliament. It's a, officially the Queen's brand. Um, this is a bit gross as well. But uh, but what it is? Um, yeah, what flavor is it? It's kind of a fruity... It's really popular in the UK. It goes amazing with cheddar. Um, but, like, this is the expensive brand. You can get generic brown sauce. So, as a child, I called tomato sauce red sauce because it was brown sauce and red sauce. But, um... Uh, but brown sauce, I think, is literally the name for it. Yeah, it's kind of tangy. Um... Molasses, glucose, fructose syrup, spirit vinegar, sugar, dates, modified corn flour. Corn flour? Uh, rye, flour, salt, spices, flavorings. I love it when it just says flavorings. Tomatoes. Is that, uh, uh, some of the main ingredient is tomatoes. Um, um, well, it recommends it for sausages. It goes on everything. Uh, so sausage and bacon sandwiches, jerky potatoes, baked beans... But all, like, I, all I can say is, I don't have like a chef's palate, but I can tell you, in the same way that um, mustard, is in strong British mustard, goes with um, uh, ham, apparently, um, and, and apple sauce goes with pork as well, uh, apparently. But like, but deep cheddar cheese, oh well, fair enough. Um, Deep cheddar cheese, like very old cheddar, uh, and brown sauce is just tastes amazing. It does a magic thing in your mouth. Um, where's my? I, I, where am I? I? I, where's where's my prize? Did I did I fall? I think I grabbed it already. My brain is not doing things. Um, there were two terminals up there. Huh. I think they're in here. Tamarind white, a eh? crust. Oh, I see. There can't be a lot in there because it doesn't label it. But yeah, I can see it's subtle. Yeah, I've, I've never heard of that. Boom, 
Boom, boom. I think there's a further up. happens I know the UK has a not a great reputation for food although that's like from the 40s and we just never lost that reputation nope I'm missing two for that uh, but specifically uh, like everything in America has corn syrup in and we don't have that in the UK um, So I know um, Coca-Cola tastes better in the UK than it does in America, because it doesn't have corn syrup in. Uh, okay, that was that did not have the. Um, uh, it would be the same as Mexican cola. Um, let's go in that direction. That's it. That's the only example I can think of. Oh, and also no. Um, Food standards, European food standards are much higher, but um, yeah, it's like a weird, I know British people tend to get a bit defensive and it's like, it doesn't matter, it's fine. <laughs> it's, it's his banter, who gives a shit. But like, um, one of the worrying things about Brexit was they were gonna try and lower the food, the food standards that uh, Europe has, so we could trade with America. Um, and uh, that, I don't want that, that's horrible, because, um, we have like, and when I say we have high standards, I don't mean like, yes, we've got high standards. I mean, like, as in literal rules, your meat has to be stored like this. You can't, uh, uh, chicken is a good example. Uh, like, the chicken can't be preserved, like, with just chemicals. It has to be, like, a certain, like, I can't remember quite the rules, but, like, America blatantly doesn't follow those rules, so we can't trade, we can't trade uh, meats or, like, with America because... Uh, Europe. The European food standard would not allow it. Uh, and I really hope that doesn't change, because... Uh, um, but it's like, think of the potential profits! It's like, no, I'd rather keep our high food standards. It's like, the, what, what are the good things? Yeah. He's a bar master. Heard you're back. Bar master. Born in the shadow of the dragon in Turkey in AD 999 under the sign of Shadow Zero. Sam took to killing like breathing. He killed a survivor on the streets and killed as a soldier before killing for fun. Became a hitman extraordinaire under the banner of Shadow Zero. Met Lydia on the battlefield. They battled for two weeks, destroying the town of Ras 009. Lydia claimed victory and stabbed Stan for the heart. While fighting, he had fallen in love with Lydia and his heart. Do you think it's possible to find love on the battlefield? Somebody was a fan of Metal Gear Solid. And in the, his moment of death, he refused to leave her. Uh, his skin fell away and his skeleton hardened, becoming deep red. So he confessed his love for her. Uh, she too had fallen for him and accepted his confession. Uh, they fled to get married, uh, renounced his murderous ways, um, and to commit harm to others. Starlight is filling you in. Um, actually, I assume, like, some of the... Some of the so, uh, I don't know how familiar you are with Metal Gear Solid, but, like, one of the side plot points is if it's possible to find love on the battlefield, because Hideo Kojima just likes writing and writing and writing and writing and writing. It's like a soap opera. It's very soap opera-y. So, if you've ever watched, like, let's say an 80s action movie, let's, uh, with Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, they all, uh, or, like, Robocop Terminator, but, but also something like, um, the one where he goes to Mars. 
All those films have a mid film twist. Actually, not so much Terminator, but like a, they had that. So Metal Gear Solid is imagine the best, slightly you know slightly problematic eighties and movies, um, but there's ten of them in a row, and it has all ten twists in, and that's Metal Gear Solid. Like right at the start of Metal Gear Solid, you come out of retirement, and your boss has also come out of retirement to send you on a mission. And that guy looks suspiciously like a character out of the first Rambo. Um, Because Hideo Kojima. Kojima. Um, But um, the reason he's involved is because his his niece is one of the soldiers in the facilities. And you've got to get her out of here. She's my niece. Um, You've got to do it. Uh, And then you find out, oh, he doesn't... I hate uncle. The uncle sent you. Um, But you find out... And it's not relevant to anything that happens in the story. It's just you get monologues from both of them that he's secretly not her uncle. She's, he's secretly her father. Uh, and there was, I'm trying to remember. He, yeah, he, he had an affair with his brother's wife, I think it was. Uh, and it's like this whole family drama comes out. I was like, Mom, I'm trying to do the ninja stealth stuff right now. Can your family drama, like what, like... Like, yeah, think of the soapiest drama and just that turns up for an hour of the game. Then fuck off again while we do have a plot. Um, and like, yeah, it has no bearing on any of the other characters' actions. Um, like, um, uh, also, she gets married. I've forgotten her name now. Oh, it's Meryl. Uh, Meryl gets married on the battlefield in Metal Gear Solid 4 because Metal Gear 4 is a very hacky game uh, but because um, she's the love interest in the first game but she gets married to someone else because um, uh, uh, Metal Gear has he's turned magically old in, in the fourth game um, but hey, the point I was actually going to make I got distracted um, is you meet a guy called Otacon uh, and Otacon is a nerd uh, he's introduced, he's called Otacon, and the game has to explain this, because he's an otaku, uh, which, of course, in 1997, nobody knew what the fuck an otaku was, uh, and he... Something to do with an octagon. It, he, it's a combination of things. He's a resident her- nerd. He's When he gets attacked by a ninja, he's, he says out loud, it's like one of those Japanese animes. He designed a nuke on a tank. Uh, and he's clearly designed in such a way that Hideo doesn't like him very much. Like when the ninja turns up, he he, he literally wets himself. Uh, he, uh, the problem is, he's incredibly endearing, and everyone loves Otacon, which means he's in all the games. Um, and eventually, his father turns up in one of the prequel games, and he gets to be evil, uh, exactly the same way as Barkley in Star Trek. Where, like, Barkley is clearly Star Trek writers poking at fans that are a bit too, like, obsessional. And everyone loves Barkley because he's the only one who's not a smug fuck in that first, in the next generation. Um, he's, he's like, you, you, he's played by one of the A team. I don't understand why you think people wouldn't like this guy. But, um, but Otacon is, despite the fact that he did put a nuke in a tank and it's like, oh no, what, that was a bad idea. Yeah, you know, Japan doesn't like nukes, obviously. Um, Anyway, there is a character called Sniper Wolf, uh, who is like a very Russian, I'm Sniper, like James Bond Russian stereotype type thing, um, who, uh, and he falls in love with her, uh, and so even though you don't kill anyone in Metal Gear Solid because you're stealthing, you have to kill her because it makes an interesting boss fight. And so the whole, like, will there be, will you, is it possible to find love on the battlefield? It's just like Otacon crying, just like, no! And he, this happens to Otacon on every single Metal Gear that he's in. He will always, you will always find out he was in a relationship with a woman, and that woman will always betray him or die. And it's just because fucking Hideo hates Otacon. And it's just like, you, you, they go really, really far with this. And it's just really absurd. And it's, incredibly funny in the second game and it has the funniest scene in any computer not on purpose funny so in the second game oh the actual point i was going to make is that um 
uh, Sniper Wolf wears a... Um, she's a sniper, uh, and she lies in the Arctic with wolves in the cold for hours on end. So, of course, she wears, like, a jacket that has incredibly deep, incredibly deep V... Uh, which is sort of it, keeping in the aesthetic of this game anyway. In fact, uh, like that, she wears a jacket. Not quite as gold and ornate, but that's what she wears. Uh, and that's why I started this um, side quest of a conversation. Um, uh, so I was reminded of that. But yeah, in the second game... Oh, oh God, it would take a while to explain, actually. It's so... Again, it's all like weird dra um, drama. Otacon is in the second game... Uh, but so is Otacon's stepsister uh, by marriage. So Otacon's father married her mother. <laughs> and you have to rescue EE. E. You have to do an escort mission in a 90s game. And you have to do an underwater escort mission. Yeah, you can already see where this is going when I said se stepsister. Um, which involves mines which is like the worst part of that game. But then there's a really cool sniper bit where you have to, she has to walk across um, and then uh, you have to shoot loads of drones. And then she's immediately murdered by a character called Vamp, who is a bisexual vampire that's inexplicably in the Metal Gear series. Um, but yes, the plot twist is uh, one that you can't kill Vamp because he was shot in the head previously. He's a vampire. That's why he can't die. Uh, or... or other reasons uh, that yes that she was in love with um, Otacon but unfortunately it could never be because um, Otacon's her mother also had like a relationship with Otacon when he was like too young um, and as and, like all this very like kind of dark very inappropriate for a spy thriller drama yeah 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 uh, it's it, it's uh, it's it, it's um it's ex explained as this like tragedy, but she's also got a pet parrot, uh, uh, and I think you get like a password of the parrot. But the parrot keeps saying Otacon because she said so. Like while he's crying, explaining this, there's a parrot just saying it's 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 it is absurd. The game is trying so hard to, for you to feel some feelings during the scene. And it's just the weirdest, absurdest scenario you've ever heard. Um, but yes. But yeah, yeah, he was... And I like... And I cannot overstate how funny it, it is just hearing. Because... Um, He would have been like eighteen, but he, I, I no, I don't know if he was. He, but he was, he was like seventeen or eighteen. But like, it's framed as a bad thing that she did, obviously. But um, but the game, but the story doesn't focus on that. It's more focused on the tragic, unrequited love of the. the, the, the anyway, yeah, it's the parrot that make the parakeet that makes it just weirdly funny, because uh, it keeps going. Oh, I can't. Um, it's very Japanese. It is a weird soap opera, uh, like twist. Again, in the middle of a game about nukes. About stopping, you know, nukes being fired by terrorists. It's like, I'm... I'm it, where... But yeah. Uh, Starlight's filling you in. Let's continue this game. Uh, But that's what, that's what I mean by, like, imagine ten movies, each with their twists, somehow crushed into one. Um, uh, one thing I didn't realise about Metal Gear Solid until I played it again is it's a visual novel. It's a visual novel with a stealth game in, but it's it's a visual, like, because I hadn't played visual novels in 1997. Um, but, like, there's a bit of Metal Gear Solid, I will stop talking about it, where you get to a place... You've got a key card, but the key card won't work unless it's sufficiently heated and then sufficiently cooled. So you have to go all the way back to Lava Zone and all the way back to Ice Zone 
No key card would work like this. I don't even understand why a key card would work like this. But the only reason the game makes you do this is for people to phone Snake up and for more story to happen. Because a lot of the story happens in phone calls. It's the codec. It's... it's and once you realize that's why, it's like, this is a fucking visual novel that you've put a stealth game into. Um, but like, that's, that's his bread and butter. He started with visual novels. Uh, Starlight's filling you in, isn't she? Haven't you, ever, you haven't forgotten us about the exile? I suppose isolation clouds the mind, doesn't it? <laughs> hey Sam, it's been a while, nice jacket. They are remaking Metal Gear 3, which is... So, uh, one of the things in Metal Gear series is um, one of the translators. Uh, I think there's a Polygon article about it, which is like, uh, hates Hideo's writing. And a lot of what people credit for, like, his writing actually came from her. So, like, a lot of the, like, military abbreviations and stuff like that, she came up with. And so, Metal Gear Solid 4 sort of stands out because it doesn't have her translating it and doing a good job of actually... Because he just writes and writes and writes and writes and writes. Um, and so, like, a lot of the subtleties just, like, Death Stranding suffers from this. There's just... The writing has no subtlety at all to it. So, like, just like, oh, it's... It's, it's he, he might not be as smart as everyone thought. Like he is clearly somebody who has this um, huge imagination, and I just like give him money to make stuff. I'm happy with it. But like, just know that like, without a couple of people nearby, just like tempering and adjusting, not sure it would have been the like Metal Gear Solid would have been famous regardless because it like it was the game that said, hey, what if we had camera angles? rather than just being computer games, uh, which is now a thing that all games have. They all aspire to look like movies. But he was the person who was, like, really aggressively pushed for that uh, as, as a thing in computer games. Um, but yeah, yeah, she is the uncredited... Well, she's credited, but, like, she's the unsung hero of Metal Gear series. But yeah, they're remaking 3, which is... Also has a woman that has a deep V. Uh, no, it has several women. Uh, uh, just uh, Hideo is a, 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 a. I don't know if he designs the characters, but like, let's not kid ourselves here. Um, you noticed it was a gift from Lydia. She always had good taste, but it is actually the best story as well. Um, Metal Gear Solid Three. Um, uh, but it also contains not Solid Snake, it contains Big Boss. Um, Lydia has missed drinking with you. I missed you too as well. You're the only normal person on these islands. That's nice of you to say, Aldi. But like, so they're remaking that and I'll probably will play it when they remake it, even though they're remaking it without Hideo. Um, but I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm not, I, he's, he's gotten my money already, it's fine. Um, and I know Konami are bad, but I don't know if they make it good. Um, well, we'll see how the uh, the uh, people score the game. You know, uh, it'd be nice if you were back under better circumstances. Don't test me. Indeed, but um, yeah, the the third game is set in the sixties, and one of the conceits. Um, so um, you are essentially playing your Solid Snake's father. Let's say it's. Let's you're you're actually a clone of him, but whatever. Um, and you're an American spy doing spy stuff. But your boss, a woman known as Big, uh, known as the Boss. The plot of that game is she's suddenly defected for some reason, uh, and twists and turns will happen. You'll eventually find out why. But she invented QCQ, which is close quarters combat. She invented, like, short-range spy kung fu. And I'm like, okay, fair enough. <laughs> it's, if you say so, game, I guess somebody had to. But it's just, like, this really funny, like, conceit of the, the, the game. So, no, we invented close quarters combat. Did you? I feel like that might have been around for longer than... Okay, it's fine. Oh, the other thing about Metal Gear Solid, which I feel like should be pretty obvious... Um, is obviously Hideo's a really big fan of 
America, like American movies, American aesthetic and stuff like that. Uh, he's a bit of a Westerboo. But um, Syndicate isn't a bad place. It's devastating, isn't it? Our friends and colleagues have been taken from us. There's not a lot of wailing, grieving going on. We've existed for unknown epochs of time, haven't we? Gives everyone a different perspective on things. How is the whiskey blend on this island? Some vanilla, caramel, spice, just a hint of smoke. Spice is unusual. The whiskey, it's got, it's got HP sauce in. Whiskey tastes like it's got tamarind. Uh, whiskey tastes like t the island it's made on. Uh, this has been a peaceful island. The, the caramel and vanilla are in harmony. Spice twists in your mouth, it coils and slips between the other flavours. What it, what's the whiskey telling you, Sam? There's something under the surface, something that twists, something that moves between us all. You can feel it too. Is there anything I can help you with? Uh, what? I've got a spit! Yeah, I'll find you. What do you recommend, Sam? How long do you, uh, since you had a drink? Uh, actually, it's not been three million days. We had a drink in someone else's um, uh, hangout, but whatever. Three million days. Feel like catching up? Hit me. Make it a large one. How about starting with a highball? <laughs> Sounds good. Please enjoy. That's the good highball. I don't know what highball is. It had a glass with a ball of ice in there. You're too kind of LD. I'm still practicing. This is dead nebulas beyond horizon. Nice bl whiskey blended whiskey how, how do I get the dead nebula thing uh, it has a crisp flavor and sweet smoky aroma it goes perfectly with the soda water garnish your mint to make a nice highball I guess a low ball is when you say you don't have the money for it don't be modest be proud I do not wish to be presumptuous but an artisan can never be satisfied can they there's always another facet thank you uh, to the diamond that is perfection wouldn't you agree who said it Sammy, the endless pursuit is a curse and a blessing, isn't it? it? Creates a restless mind, frustrated by not being able to practice. But in the moment of doing so, you're in heaven. Precisely, the key to the highball is ice. The ice is frozen at minus 20 degrees Celsius. Makes the ice harder so it doesn't melt. You'd enjoy the taste of the ingredients without them being diluted. The ice is cut to provide a tight fit in the glass. Highball has to be stirred gently so the soda doesn't fizz. You stir without the ice moving part. It chills nicely, doesn't it? Whenever some, I've got a friend at work who's trying to help me learn how to cook. And she'll occasionally go like, "Yeah, what you do is you put it, you put this in here, and you you add, you add some d tamarind." And I have to go like, "Whoa, whoa, what? No, you're going crazy fast." I like, you need no, you need to do, you're gonna need to give me much slower intro. It's like me trying to talk to my dad about computer setups, so I'm like, and then you attach the monitor to the PC, and you're like, "Whoa, no, you added there was two words in that sentence." I need one word at a time. It's like, just, I, I, do, I do have an, I am a man who owns an air fryer now. Um, I made fries in it because I, I have no imagination. I was like, well, what did I put in this? What? Actually, I made sausages in it. The sausages were really good. Uh, I won't like, they're like I perfectly good cooked chop the sausages. I'm genuinely surprised at how good they were. Um, we need to go and brew live back in the paradise good to talk to you but like I, apparently you can bake cakes in them and stuff it's always a pleasure well I, hopefully I'll have a kitchen at some point I also have carpet on my stairs I didn't have carpet on my stairs previously hence why that's a thing I'm saying absolutely and on my landing Yeah, I, d I did make some stir fry. Uh, my brother was trying to get me, and yeah, it was crispy. I don't think I've ever made stir fry that was actually crispy before, but it was a ton of it burnt. Because uh, I'm not used. I I also have a bad habit of going. It stuffs in cooker. Go away. I'll come back when it's done. Um, and that's not how you're supposed to deal with that. Uh, suspicions? Can you think of anyone else that would uh, kill, kill the council? Sam, kill the council. The crime of the century of the millennium. I don't think I do, LT. I'm really sorry I can't be of more help. Everyone here is a loyal member of the Syndicate, aren't they? I hope that's true. You think Henry really did this, Sammy? It's hard to say, isn't it? Hell of a crime. What do you believe, LT? I'm still making my truth. I could go find him with a council blood in the stomach that's messed up, isn't it? He's clearly a sicko. 
That's what I'm trying to work out. Your alibi, where were you at the time of the murder, Sam? I'm under suspicion, everyone is. I'm an investigator. Oh, we must all cooperate, mustn't we? Did they take me to the Paradise Gates? Finished packing up the bar, I spent a few minutes taking the place in. I couldn't have expected to be back here, could I? Tom, did you leave the bar? <laughs> Let Yuri know it's good to go. Lydia came to get me and we went to the gates. She picked me up about 10 to midnight and we arrived at the gates about 5 to midnight. Any proof? The nightmare computers at the gates will have the logs. I'll check them out and I can find the fucking things. Uh, your motives? Sure thing, LD. What do you need to know? Got anything you'd like to tell me? Don't think so, LD. We're happy. Everyone has a motive. They need to think harder, Sam. Is that true, LD? Without a doubt. You have motive. Does Yuri come in here? Why do you ask, LD? It's after my time. And Lydia mentioned him. I don't know him. People speak to bartenders. Pull their heart out. To a bad day. Just coming from time to time. We all need a drink, right? What's his drink of choice? Looks high and wind. Doesn't know what he's talking about, though. That's good characterization. Uh, he's trying to look the part. You're right. Uh, you can tell. What can you tell me about him? It's a power boy. All he thinks about his power and ambition. He wants to be on the council. Sure does. Maybe he finally snapped. Snapped. All he wants is to pursue his ambition. I voted against him. Uh, one of his numerous motions. And he came across the room like me. Ooh. I'm trying to be a little bit healthier, because um, if I need to keep cycling to work, I need to be in a, I need to be able to physically do that. Uh, although I am going to also buy an electric bike. Um, he's angry and patient. He thinks he's ready to run the show. Uh, hence, oh, hang on, it's not day six. It's actually day seven. Let me painstakingly go and change that. One second. It's actually been day six for a couple of days now, but. Uh, also, uh, I'm drinking milkshake, which isn't the best thing for me. I've got to figure out, I need to buy milk from not the, the milk goes out of date in like three days and I can't drink it all, so that's why I started drinking milkshake. Um, but this is full fat milk, uh, which I didn't want to do. Um, but I have been exercising every day and uh, I've been cutting down on obvious things. I also unfortunately bought uh, loads of cherry Pepsi for my uh, soda stream, but like, yeah, we it's it's Pepsi Max, but still. Uh, schedule one second. I f what 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 did I say again? Oh oh um, oh the milk yes. Uh, no, actually, it, it goes off in a week. It's not three days. But, like, in Tesco's, you can buy milk that lasts, like, two weeks. Uh, and I want some of that milk, but it's just the cheap shop over there. It just doesn't last very long. And, unfortunately, when I say over there, I mean... I, I can... I, if I open my window, I can see the shop. Yeah, it's um, uh, when I heard about these 15 minute cities and it's like, yeah, that's a great idea. And then there's like a weird pushback on the on like right wing like Internet. And it's like, what are you talking about? That sounds like an amazing idea. Um, OK, oh, there we go. It's, it's arrived now. But yeah, like I specifically picked this location um, because Unfortunately, it is very... I can now get milk. In fact, it shuts at 10 p.m., which is really late for places in Cornwall. Uh, so, like, if I need milk at half nine, I can I can very easily get there. Uh, but unfortunately, if I have a sudden hankering for Mars ice creams, they are, I, there's also a constant supply right next to my house, which is less ideal, but uh, whatever. Uh, but, oh, yeah, so I, I deleted the app that gets food sent to me. 
uh, because I was having too much KFC. Um, so it is lunch show, don't all young people though. Yuri's alibi. You see Yuri last night? Is this a uh, Lydia tried phoning him, you should ask her. I did. Killed the Holy Sealed Marshals. Do you know anything about the murder of the martial guards outside? Don't uh, LD temple business, isn't it? Okay, hacks. Don't, uh, don't think I had to check out this place overlooking the ocean. Grand Marshal. Akko didn't see, I'm afraid. You should, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna, anything that says no, try asking somebody. I'm not gonna read out loud anymore. I'd see the architect. If you ask it, it's, yeah, yeah. Uh, Crimson. Sometimes she stops by for a drink in the evening, but I didn't see her until the crisis meeting last night. LD, you speak to her, shouldn't you? Oh, yes! Haha, <laughs> thank you! No, I'm just going for this. Luckily, I read everything out loud. Um, the doctor last night. Did you see the doctor last night? He said he'd been in his clinic, didn't he? Thank you. Uh, Henry's movements. Did not say anything about Henry? Been to the desolation cell yet, LD? Did you ask I could go? Win this alibi? Nothing except what I heard in the crisis meeting. Okay. Henry's escape. Drug to Akiko. Second seal. Mystery in it. Not for me to know. Huh? It's own bad news. Um, right. We didn't get a lot from him, actually. Yeah, it's. I hate doing that. Like, I've set up so many things to, like, this exists to show if I'm talking, and but sometimes I still forget. Uh, oh, it's the, the, the bar knife with the heart. That's cute. Um, since we've saved. Uh, right. I think I've spoken to everyone at least once. What I want... Okay. Is... The, uh, the bloody key item, the upgrades. Oh, have I just... Okay. Okay, but like, where's the other up? How do I get the other upgrade? That's ah, kind of annoying that I went places and didn't know I'd. Power station worker. Okay, so it does say it here. Broken vending machine in in a warehouse. Okay, I guess I should teleport. But then we need really need some more blood crystals. Yeah, I think it's around here. I hope the blood crystals come back after a while. I stand to your person. I know people are too deep, but still. I'll move the crane around. I if I can get it to pick up anything. Huh.
I'm not sure why I don't want it to pick up. So, um, we're probably going to want that one. I don't know if I get it, but... I wish I wasn't attached to it when it did that. I can hear Shinji. Ah, there we go. Of worship. That was no oh Starlight, thank you. Yo, you got the upgrade. Good work. Told you we'd come through for you. Thanks for the help. No worries. Always got to help the investigator on a mass murder. Don't, don't forget to install from Starlight's inventory. Don't you think that's hassle and an unnecessary step? Friction is nice. Makes things more meaningful. I guess we'll let you get back to it. Ah, uh, remember to buy more drinks. Buy. More. Drinks. Power station worker. Uh, power station is that, right? Shinji, where's the power station? Oh, it's gonna be like in the water, isn't it? Oh, fuck. Ah, fuck. No! I was trying to get something. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I'm quite close. Just a spine. Just one of those spines. Cosmos, pyramids, and worship. Cool. Go, Cosmos. Goat. tangible progress.
It's weird that it has actual human pictures in. Oh, hello, Shinji. What makes a good killer? I mean, someone that's good at killing or someone that doesn't get caught. The first the one. Coldness. Passion leads to mistakes. If someone survives being killed, you've messed Don't up. Test if me. you can kill like it's the most routine thing in the world, you make a good killer. But are not getting caught. Sure. You even need to disappear or make it seem ridiculous that you could have been involved. You think there's someone like that on the island? I'm glad to be back. If there wasn't, I wouldn't be here. Good point. Looks a laugh, that guy. I don't have the, the blood crystals right now. Dum, dum, dum. first. Expecting a bit more from there. I think I may have missed something. I'm, I'm sort of willing to walk around for a bit. It's raining. Hmm. No idea where that goes. I see a blood crystal. See some
I don't think I need any more. We have blood bar. Welcome back. Chicken, the chicken pot pie, that sounds amazing. Time moves differently on the island. I can't decide if I like it, nor can I. It does things to people, what kind of things? It twists people, distorts their hearts. I think that happened to me, so do I. Sure, what we're just what we're achieving, but uh, I now have a coveted loyalty card. Hmm. Let's go towards the syndicate machines. Oh, this this Shinji. So Shinji, you're in a weird place. Did not mean, uh, notice that, but it, it wouldn't surprise me. See, that was the, the dead nebula shop. I unlocked it. What's that? I shall perhaps it. 